Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can apply validation while importing in Laravel. I have already created one video on how to import in Laravel. So if you want to go from starting then you can watch that video. Here I'll be continuing from previous video only. So you can see here I have created one view where you can upload your file. After that let me show you database. So here you can see table in this table i have inserted so now let me show you code so here you can see in web.php it's going to file controller index function so in index function you can see view is returning that i have shown you just form is there for file upload and this form is submitted using script and the script is going to save upload form so in web.php you can see it's going to save upload form function and inside that excel import i'm doing with new task import so now in task import you can see that it's creating new model every time and it's inserting in database here so now let me show you documentation for uh, laravel excel so here you can see row validations how you can apply so here you can see we need to use with the validation we need to implement basically here and after that you can see a function rules we need to add and with heading row these rules will be like whatever your heading so we have title and description heading and last i will show you how you can add custom validation messages so now let's add rules in import file so write function public function rules and oh, that will be as an array and here we need to implement also that so write with validation and that also you need to import so here you can see with validation is already imported so pass array now here return array and inside that we are having our excel heading that is title and description so inside this we will be using title and then we will be defining rules so title rules will be adding here it so should be required and for description also required so now let's go to excel and let's say title first task i'm going to remove and now let's save and here now let's go and import so before that let me just inspect and let's go to network so now upload the file and click on submit now you can see in uh, preview we can see there is errors that there was error on row 2 the title field is required so here you can see validation is working fine that title we have added required so it's giving error as we have removed from row 2 title blank we have passed so let me just console it console log response now let's go and refresh again import again and now submit let's go to console and here you can see one response json and inside that you will be getting errors so now let's get this key so here right var let's say error response and inside that write response dot response json dot errors so errors uh, is array so let's uh, start a loop and inside this loop we will be displaying uh, inside our dev so let's uh, let me just check i guess i have already created dev that is form errors yeah it's already there at the top so we will be displaying all our errors in this div so write id dollar form errors with the html let me just uh, write it outside loop because i need to display all the errors there can be other fields as well so multiple errors will be there so let's uh, hold this in our variable and then inside that append to the string so let's say string and here str and with that write error message and at zero index we will be having our error so now let's check in browser refresh and submit so on submit you can see there was an error on row 2 in that div error is displayed in db also it's not inserted so now how you can pass your custom message here so for that we need to create another function here so write public function custom validation messages so inside that written array and key will be your 
heading that's a title and with your uh, let's say rule that is required so title dot required and pass so uh, message let's say title field is required so now let's go and check in browser upload file somewhere there you can see title field is required now it's taking custom message so if you have any other uh, validation in pipeline as well so you can pass title dot any other let's say nullable any other like rules then you can also add for that and also you can check in console there you can see errors so it's showing the same you can also show message or errors it depends on your which one you want to display so that's all in this video i have shown you how you can apply validations while importing in laravel i hope you like this video if you have doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section so that's all in this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching